Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fates Conquest with Imcloak55. Um, another half part. <laughs> As I said before, uh, said that I would do before. Um, with a lot of support conversations, of course. And one pairing. I... Could have, um... Could have also grinded up the support conversations between Dwyer and uh, Nina. All the way up to S. But maybe next time. Because I will be recruiting a lot of kids in the next few in the next few chapters. Like um story wise, main story wise, next few chapters. And yeah. Let's start with the unimportant support conversations, I guess. We'll keep these for pretty much the last as well, I guess. Okay, um, Effie and Kaze. Let's start with those. Ah, another night, uh, another night watch complete. And now for some well-earned rest. Hold on. What's this? The base of the watchtower has been damaged. Solid granite. Shattered. Almost as if it, as if it were struck by a boulder. Well, I'd better reinforce the structure before... Wait, who's there? Show yourself. Um, hello there. Effie? What are you doing here so- uh, What are you doing here- Wait, what are you doing out here so late? Oh, just sneaking in a little extra training. Once, uh, one can never be too fit. Oh, who am I kidding? This was all my fault. What are you talking about? Damaged watchtower? Yes, but I can repair it. I just got so angry thinking about the last battle. Urgh, the mistakes I made. I suppose I must have smacked this tower out of a frustration. With... With your bare hand? Gods. I'm so sorry. Here, let me just patch this... Let me just patch this part. No need to apologize. I'm still technically on watch, so it's my duty to help you fix it. Why, thank you, Kaze. You're too kind. Nonsense. I'm merely performing a duty. No, really. This means a lot to me. I'm so tired of breaking everything. Hmm, perhaps I can help you channel your strength into something more productive. Alright, those supports. <laughs> really? That's so thoughtful. I feel like giving you a great big... <laughs> a great big bear hug. That's quite alright, let's just finish this repair and try to salvage some... Uh, and try to salvage some rest. And my ribs. <laughs> Okay, let's, um... Percy and Beruka. Mom, I'm home! Is dinner ready yet? Oh, Percy, your knee is bleeding. Fear not, Mom! This scratch is merely a symbol of my de 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 uh, dedication to training. Well, we better get that scrape disinfected right away. No, no, it's okay. I'm sure we'll be fi it it'll be fine if we leave it alone. No, it won't. If that cut f festers, you could get very sick. Now sit down. Jeez. Jeez, don't be such a worry ward. I can't help it. I'm your mother. I'm going to apply the medicine. Youch! Didn't you say... Uh, th you didn't say that would sting. Can you try to be a little more gentle? How are you planning on protecting me if you can't deal with a, li with a bit of pain? What? No! I was just pretending. Yeah. I... I was totally just pretending it hurt. I can't believe you actually fell for that. Go ahead, put on more medicine. I can take it. How did you end up... How did you end up getting hurt? Well, I was running down a mountain as fast as I could. But I lost my footing and tripped. And you walked away with just this little scrape? You're very lucky. Please do... Please do not try to be so reckless going forward. But... How can I get strong enough if, if, to protect you if I quit training? I appreciate how much this means to you, Percy. But that is no, not a good excuse for putting yourself in, in, in dangerous situations. I don't want to be protected by someone with no care for their own safety. You're very important to me, and I don't want to see you get hurt. You're right. I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay, as long as you understand. Now, how about we eat? Yay! All the all the tumbling made me hungry. 
you. Where and Tuor? Good day, Lady Tuor. Can I ask you for a small favor? Of course. How can I help you, Dwyer? I just made a pot of tea and I was wondering if you would sample it. Well, that's easy. Sure, let me have a sip. Mmm, it's really good. I see. Any further detail you care to offer? Oh, uh, sure, let me see. It's a bit floral, and do I detect hints of vanilla? In any case, it's delicious to wear. Just the way I like my tea. Yes, your prediction is correct. How would you say it compares to my father's tea? Um, well, it's pretty similar to be honest. Perhaps that's why I like it so much. I see. I should, have, I should have you know that when it comes to my skills as a butler, I have no intention of taking second place to my father. So please understand that I will be redoubling my efforts to please you. Um, that's really not necessary. <laughs> I loved Weir. Such an amazing character. I, love, I also love voicing him. One of those characters where it's, just, where it's just fun voicing him. Okay, uh... Okay, only this support, and only that support, okay. Mozu and Odin. That's it! Looks like I finally finished up this side of the field! Whew! Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's you, Odin. Say, what are you doing all the way out here? You've noticed my presence! How very observant of you! I saw you sneak out of camp and I was curious where you were running off where you were running off to. W quit acting rude. I didn't do anything wrong. A likely story. So you are getting up to uh, up to out here any wait. So what are you so what are you getting up uh, to out wait. Let me retry this whole thing. A likely stro story. So what are you getting up uh, up to out here anyway? Oh, I'm just tending to the fields. It's just about planting season. I need to make sure the soil's in good shape before I plant my seeds. It's important for the seeds to be planted in healthy, nutritious soil. Otherwise, everything that grows won't taste very good. Is that so? Well, allow me to help. Really? You wouldn't mind? Of course not. There's no uh, there's no need for def uh, def uh, def How do I pronounce that? Defidence? Diffidence? There's no need for diffidence, Mozu. Especially toward me, the legendary hero, Odin Dark. With my assistance, this simple farm work will be done in a flash. Gee, that sure would be a big help. Would you mind taking care of that field over there? Of course not. You just leave it to me. So this is fertilizer, eh? The sweet soil shall bear an ab abundant harvest. From now on, this shall be known as the as mighty mystic Le Leonard Leonard's Len Leonardization. Huh? What are you talking about? Now, my mighty mystic Len Leonardization, release your full might. Lend the mysterious power of yours to the soil and send us blooming blessings. Ha! Huh. Um, what are you doing, Odin? This is a powerful farming hex. Fertilizer with this spell cast upon it produces flavorful and abundant crops. Or so I've, I've decided, at least. Well, that spell casting of yours sure is noisy. Maybe it would be better if you didn't help me after all. Oh, Odin. <laughs> um, we are Camilla, okay. Hey Leo, I have another s I have another question for you. Oh, what is it? What did father used to be like? Hmm? What do you mean? Xander told me that father used to be a diff really different, but he didn't say more. So I was hoping you could tell me what kind of person father was back then. Hmm, well, before Queen Ariette passed away, I'd say he was a gentle father. Gentle? No way, I can't even imagine him like that. I know, if I were you I wouldn't believe it either, but I used to be very fond of father. He doted on us, he even gave me piggyback rides when I whenever I asked, 
What? I'm so jealous. He never treated me like that. What else? What else? He was a courageous person. He... He'd even ride out to battle on the front lines. Obviously, I never saw him do so myself, but that's what I've been told. But I did see him spar. He was so strong. I couldn't help but believe the stories. Whoa, really? I wanna meet... I wanna meet back then, father. He sounds amazing. He was. To tell you the truth, I wish I could see him again as well. Let's see, what else did he say about... Uh, what else did they say about him? Ah, yes. When he was young, they say he never ran out of love stories to tell. All the girls in the kingdom wanted to be at his side. And they weren't just interested in the, th in the, thro in the throne either. He was quite the charmer. <laughs> Our father? A ladies man? It's not possible! I know, it's hard to believe now. But he was but he was known as an extremely charismatic leader. Unfortunately, this chariz charisma inspired much chaos among among his suitors. There were there were so many vying for his fa for his favor that frequently turned to violence. Wait, they frequently turned to violence. Some even turned on ma members of their own family. What? How could they do that? How could they do that on to their own family? I suppose they lost all sense of self-control in their effort to rise in position. I agree, it certainly doesn't speak well of their character. I see... Elise, are you okay? Uh, huh? Oh, it's nothing. It's almost time to eat. We should hurry, before the, all the best food is gone. Thanks for telling me about father, Leo. No problem at all. Alright. Camilla and... Wait. Okay. Well then, let's continue on with these supports. Ah, there you are, too, or... Hello, Camilla. I suppose it's my nap time? Of course not. I've come to my senses. I know I oughtn't treat you as a child. Do you mean that? My message finally got true? Certainly. Going forward, I'll treat you as the adult sister you have become. Now then, I was thinking we deserve a small break from all this action. Shall we pop off to the local hot springs for a spell? Do a bit of spa fortnite, as I like to call it. What? What do you mean, what? It's just a little soaking and relaxing, dear. Don't two sisters deserve a little extra time to bond? Of course, but how do you think it would look to the others? I can't tell my friends... Wait, I can't let my friends fight and die while I'm off soaking in a tub. And basking in the re rejuvenate, rejuvenate powers of daily... Of daily facial peels. One mustn't forget the facial peels. I'm sorry, Camilla, but I can't get away for something like that right now. Oh, I suppose not. It's just that I feel terrible about your wretched past. Being locked away for so long, unable to go shopping or stroll the gardens. Let alone experience life's simplest pl simplest pleasures, like running madly through a springtime meadow, or splashing the ocean. Father didn't allow that sort of thing, did he? No. Don't you see how hard it was on me? Not to be able to do anything for my poor little sister. Camilla, please don't cry. You're right, I'm being ridiculous. Letting my o o emotions overtake me like that. Just give me a moment. Of course. To pack both of our bags. Now, would you like to bring one, one ba bathing suit or two? Two, of course. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah. Support conversations. Leo, could I borrow you for a moment? Certainly. What is it you need? I was hoping you could help me study. You? Wish to study? In the middle of a war? I'm happy to help, but why are you suddenly so serious about your education? I thought broadening my horizons might help me protect everyone. Now that we are at war, I can practice what I learned right away in a real battle. The battlefield is not so kind, nor so simple. I've su I'm sure you've learned that by now, haven't you, Tuor? Well, yeah, but... However, I do think intellectual pursuits, uh, pursuits play a key role in keeping a, keeping a mind sharp. 
that can make it all the difference in the heat of battle. If you truly desire it, I will teach you anything you wish to know. Thank you, Leo. But don't expect me to go easy on you. You know how strict I am about my studies. Um, I know, but maybe you could lighten up a little? Just the impossible. I will be as strict as I need to be to help you mi your mind grow. Don't forget, you're the one who sought this out. I suppose that's true. I'll do whatever you ask me. With, uh, you ask of me without complaint. Spoken, spoken like a true model pupil. Now let us begin. And on with the C two A supports with uh, Sal Xander and Charlotte, and then the S support, but not before I, well, visit the private quarters, um, which I have already done. So I'm gonna make a short cut here. And we'll go on with that, and after that, the support conversations between... Well... Wait. Support conversations. Um, and then after that, the support conversations between these guys. And then Charlotte and Sander. Alright. See you in a second. Hmm? What's this? Wake that slug -a bed up. <laughs> Sleeping. Welcome home, tour. Thanks for waking me up. <laughs> I totally forgot that this would happen, so... Yeah. I'm actually recording this prior to the actual part, <laughs> to the actual half part, in which this will be in. But yeah, I thought I'd just go in there. But if I'm already recording, I can, I might as well just do this whole thing. Bond has deepened. You're the first person who's ever made me truly happy. I love you. Cinnamon roll, Benny. Okay, let's switch screens again. And while I'm here, I might as well just fight over Xander once. Now then. You look troubled, Tuor. I'm here to lend an ear. I hope you know that I'm always on your side. Nothing could ever change that. Sure. <laughs> oh, I forgot to switch screens for this. Sorry about that. Oh well. I always have fun when I'm with you. I hope you feel the same way about me. Bye, Benny. <laughs> Alright, um... Now, let's continue on with the rest of this episode. Wh whatever that is that is left. Probably the romantic supports. <laughs> Alright. So, see you in a second. Okay, let's continue on with the supports. Hmm. Hmm, that was really some uh, that was that was really something. The way those men were chatting like old friends. What could they have been talking about? The mind wanders. Welcome back, Nina. Welcome back, Nina. I have no idea how I voiced Felicia. Why? Oh right, because I didn't voice Felicia in uh except for at the very beginning. Uh, mother? What are you doing here? I thought you were training. You didn't hear me talking about uh, stuff, did you? Huh? No, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Did you want to talk about something? Nope, don't worry about it. Whew. Oh, but I was doing some general straight straightening up to uh, straightening up today. I took the ch I took the chance to straighten up in your room a little bit. I think you'll find it much nicer to walk around in now. 
Mother! That's my private space! I found a few books tucked under your pillow when I was making a bed. I left them on, on top of your desk in case you were looking for them. Oh my gods, oh my gods, oh my gods! Please tell me you didn't open any of those books! Something wrong, Nina? I have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't have a voice for either of them yet. <laughs> my diaries and journals, mother! Did you read them or didn't you? I'm a professional, sweetie. I would never intrude on someone's pr uh, private things. And if I did happen to... <laughs> peruse a page or two, my lips wouldn't... it uh, would be sealed. The secrets are always safe with me. What the... what's that supposed to mean? It sounds like you did read them! Well, did you or didn't you? Ah! Uh. <laughs> Nina, a word, a word please. What do you want? What do you want? You're not... You're not to steal any longer. Not even for a good cause. Ah, uh, this again? I'll do as I please. Decent folk don't steal. And in no circumstances will I allow you to do it. But you used to do that all the, do it all the time. What's with the double standard? I came from circumstances. I had to, I had to steal and so I had to steal to survive. I'm only doing what's right. It's ridiculous for you to complain about that. <sighs> you used to be such a reasonable, obe obedient child. At least you're still cute. Ugh, you're such a creep. This is why no one likes you much, father. Nina. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, you've mastered the art, o art of crocodile tears. But making puppy dog eyes at me won't change anything. It's my life, so stop butting in. <sighs> oh, that didn't end well. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on with the C2A supports between Charlotte and Xander. Alright, C support. Hello, Prince Xander. You sent, you sent for me? Indeed, Charlotte. I mean, indeed, Charlotte. Take a seat. Um, alright. My lord, you've grown s you've got such a skull on your face, and yet it's wonderful as ever. <sighs> is something bothering you, my lord? This is this is meant to be a serious conversation. I've received less than flattering reports about you lately. Bad reports? I don't understand. It appears you've been completely ignoring any regulations. Numerous times. Can you explain yourself? I'm causing a disruption in the army? I didn't realize anything was wrong. Don't give me that. You know exactly what you've been doing. You hold a rank above the average soldier, and your behavior is not appropri appropriate. Do not behave in such, w such a way that will embarrass Nor. I wasn't trying to cause any... This is just a warning. Heed it. Or there will be more dire consequences. Huh. <laughs> You must be talking about my fl uh, about my flirtations. I'll need to change how I do things. Did you say something? Uh, did you say something just now? No, I... Not I, me lord. It must have been the wind you heard. Be support. Prince Xander! Charlotte, what do you need? I don't need anything, me lord. I'm here because I prepared a lunch for you. You made me lunch? Yes, indeed. I poured an extra amount of love into it, just for you. Please give it a try. I see. Thank you for making this for me. It's nearly lunchtime, so I may as well. It all looks pretty good. It all looks pretty good, too. Maybe I'll try some of this. I made sure to use only the most healthy of ingredients, me lord. I know your life is very demanding, so this meal was made to give you lots of energy. Ah, the taste is excellent. I'll admit it. This is a good meal. Thank you for the compliment, me lord. So, what's your next move? Excuse me? You've demonstrated that you can prepare an exceptional meal. What comes next? I'm sorry, me lord. I don't understand what's... what are you saying? Yeah, what are you saying? This is how you make yourself more popular with the men in camp, is it not? I told you before. I've got... Re I've gotten reports. Usually, I'd, I'd lean into the point. Uh, I'd lean in to point out 
to point out something in the meal, casually brushing against them. Like this. Stop. We've already talked about your behavior and how it needs to stop. My apologies. But is what I'm doing really so wrong? It seems like... It le seems like me something men enjoy. If you have time to work out how to catch the eyes of those around you, you have time to train yourselves for combat. I... um... yes, my lord. Hmm. Huh. Oh, wait. Uh, A support. <laughs> I should have said that. Well, it's pretty obvious with the fade in and fade out, but yeah. Did I say when the B support started? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. It seems Prince Xander is working on his swordsmanship today. I still can't believe I found a man who can resist my charm. I suppose it's. I su suppose it's unsurprising. He is Norian royalty after all. An intimidating man. Uh, snap out of it, Charlotte. Just go apologize to him and be... Those are... Those are faceless over there. And they're heading for Prince Xander. Me lord, look out! That was close. Thank you for the aid, Charlotte. I only did what I had to. I'm surprised, though. I saw you defeat the Faceless with only your fists. I... well... Uh, I'm, not brawl I'm not brawling is probably one of my best skills. If that's true, why don't you fight with... Why, why, why do you fight with a weapon? I don't think such a talent would be all that appealing to the men. You seem concerned with how others see you. Why? I'm sure you'd have just as many admirers in your... if you hid... if you hid less from the world. It's nice of you to say such a thing, but it's not but not everyone shares your mindset. And I've experienced personally being rejected for showing my real self. Charlotte. I was born into a family of peasants. We had very, very little. I always dreamt of the vast riches in the nobili uh, the nobility possessed. That's why I'm so concerned f with how men see me. It's my dream to find my way into that life. I won't let anything stand in my way. Oh, she switched back to normal. <laughs> you're pretty honest once you've dr once you drop the act. I apologize to disrupt to di for disrupting the army, but I also won't change how I act. That's how that if that's not acceptable, I can depart at first light t at first light tomorrow. There's no need to adjust your be there's no need to adjust your behavior. What? Behave within reason. I don't want to read any more odd reports. Do that, and you may do whatever it is you uh, whatever it is you wait. Whatever it is you call what you do. R really? Thank you, Prince Xander. And on to the S support. Proceed to uh, r rank support S. Each unit can only reach support rank S with one other unit. Yes. Thanks for coming so quickly, Charlotte. Of course, Prince. C of course, Prince Xander. But isn't this place reserved for members of the royal family? It is. Yes. I'm deeply moved. I've always wondered what it looked, what it was like to be here. But why? I would like for you to be able to come here whenever you wish. But for that to be possible, I must admit my feelings. What are you? W wait a minute. I know I'm normally a little silly, but can I say something up front and direct? Of course. This is messed up. Are you telling me you've fallen for me? Because I'm warning you, I get revenge for jokes made at my expense. But if that isn't the case, then I apologize for my words. I'm just struggling to understand what you're saying. Charlotte, I felt a strong att attraction to you since we first met. I would have said something sooner, but it was his but it was his assistant. I I thought a relationship between us would be too complicated. Complicated? How would be how would it be complicated? I felt that a prince should be should only be with someone of a noble blood. But as I thought about it more and as I learned more about you, I realized it wasn't an impossible situation in the least. I'm sure that we can work together to overcome any hardships. You're really fine with this? 
Wouldn't I become Queen of Nor in the future? You would. And that's what I'd w and that's what I would like. Well, I suppose I'd need to let my parents know my situation has changed a bit. Explaining the increase in how much money I send them each month. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> of course you send of course you send money to them. Uh, of course you send money to them. It's important to care for one's parents. Xander, I'm so excited for our future. Could you excuse me for a moment? I need to just poke my head out of this window. Of course. What is it you're do- Woo! <laughs> I love that. I love this so much. Oh, Charlotte, you never cease to amuse me. That's like the very best line ever. <laughs> so amazing. As support obtained. I mean, like, visualizing that. Charlotte just opening up the window and <laughs> screaming out, Woo! <laughs> Very loudly. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay, uh, so Charlotte will use this partner seal <laughs> to turn into a cavalier. For the time being. She will... Well, not really for the time being. Except for if you... Well, what I meant by that will, uh, is... Only three more level ups until class change <laughs> into a higher class, so yeah, that's what I meant. Norian, a knight who fights on horseback. Wield swords and lances. She can't use her axes right now, but that'll change later. So I'll just keep the axes in her inventory so you won't get too far with her lance level. Maybe up to D. That would be nice. Huh. You got it! I make this outfit look good! Yeah, let me just wait. Um... How many Master Seals do I have? You. I need a few more than that. Um... Vulnery. Okay, so her defense is 13. That's not too bad, actually. It's not astounding. Or... Special, especially good, but it's better than some others. What was it? Thirteen. So the same as, as oops, where is he? Um, as Lazlo has at the moment, and he's more of a defensive type, so that should work. And I believe um, Charlotte can play Perry's role well. After all, um. Great Knight. <laughs> Great Knight Charlotte. Not the best in defense, but that'll, that'll be pushed up a bit and the adamant club is still within her weapon choices. Uh, but her strength is also a great factor. <laughs> Alright, um, before we end though, um, buildings, move. Let me just move this a bit further. Build. Um, do I already have the... Yeah, I can already build Xander's statue. Perfect. Um, do I have Benny's statue already too? Nope. Because the royals and their partners next to them and the kid will be to the other side. And um, as for my statue and, well, I don't have a Zura statue yet, so that'll be there. Partner behind, and then both of the kids behind them. That'll be the setup. And the pillars were supposed to symbolize um, Xander for as long as I didn't have a statue. And this fire orb was supposed to symbolize Elise. So I know where to put them. Because if I, rem if I did that correctly, I've done it the exact same way in my... Um, in my other, in my private nor playthrough, this should be the arrangement of the four, um, yeah, of the four ro uh, Norian royals in the intro, where they stand around the throne where King Garen sits on, I believe. And well, I'm in the middle right now. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I also wanted to class change. 
not Gunter. I checked out the growth rates of the classes and honestly, this class, the Great Knight class, has the best growth rates for Gunter. But I wanted to class change... Shura. Alright, let's use this. And you will be a mechanist. Because um, both shuriken and bows can be used. So I won't use, uh, won't, won't lose the bow weapon level. But I can, will also be able to use shuriken. Which also fit Shura well. So there we go. Oh yeah, um, something I wanted to say about Shura. Um, but I totally forgot. Shura's kind of character... I really can't tell how old he is yep. supposed to be. Like, um... Sure, he was... Partly... Well, he was... He had something to do with the kidnapping of... Of Azura. Meaning that he's probably at least 10 years older. Well, no, that's not... Well, te well that he was at least 10 at that point of time, not 10 years older. Um, so yeah, no idea. Whatever. Um, I've also arranged my units this way, after uh, after the pairings, female unit first, male unit, um, in order to select the skills for the next few children's chapters. Um, well, I'll, I'll I'll decide which child quest we'll do next. I'll have to see if I can do the ones of these two already. Because... Actually, let's take a look at that while we are still here. I equipped her... Oops, not there. Equip skills. I gave Azura the counter magic because that's the skill I want to pass on to both of them. And as for... Keaton, I gave him Aegis, which I had to get over different ways um, to pass down to the uh, to the two kids. Sure, Azura could also pass down um, one of the Azura only skills, but right now I'd prefer to have counter magic on the children, both of them. So um, I believe Keaton and Azura's children quests will be the next ones I, I'll do. Like, right right away. Not sure, though. Because I technically... Not sure what I would pass on with her. Um, but I've already decided I would pass on Gentle Hom with Leslo. Because, well, I don't want to pass on any rally skills. And, well, while Inspiration would be a better skill. For reasons. Um, Alright, I guess Perry could pass down Aptitude. Well, no, I could find aptitude easily on every single child, so that's not going to be necessary. But I'll decide on what to pass down with Perry at some point. Same thing goes for... Um, where are they? Yeah, same thing goes for Selena. She's supposed to pass down Demoiselle for reasons. And as for Leo... I have no idea which skill I wish to pass down. I'll have to decide on that later as well. So, I guess since I already know for both of them what they should pass on, and neither of them are gonna learn new skills soonish. Well, Azura in five levels, but I'll just keep her away from leveling, I guess. Because, for some reason, the th but I had problems with the other kids. I'm, I have no idea, is it if I learn a new skill in their child quest that I actually passed on that skill? Because that's not something I'd want, so yeah. I'd say the next two quests will be... Um, this one, Azura's son Shigure, and after that, the one of, where is it, there, one of Keaton, Valoria.
And they're gonna be in the same class. <laughs> in the class that Keaton usually is, and Deloria as Child of the Beast obviously also is. A beast unit. <laughs> so yeah, the kids will be beasts. <laughs> Alright, but this is it for this half part. Wait, let me... Oops, uh, let me just get rid of... What's, what's new? Thunder statue, oh cool. Okay, um, move. Let me just demolish this fire... No wait, I still need this fire orb. Um... Let me just do it like this. And demolish these pillars. For the time being, this fire orb will be staying there. Alright. Okay. But this is it for this time. For this half part. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time then, when we continue on with the children quests of Zura and um, Keaton. Alright. Until then, bye.